in how is it going everyone welcome to polybius uh a game that you know <laughs> a lot of people might uh know this name because there is a game that um give me a second there we go there is a game that in the 80s uh, caused a lot of controversy because apparently it was a super addictive uh, seizure inducing game uh, that apparently it's nothing more than an urban legend, right? Uh, but these guys, the guys at Yamasoft, uh, decided, well, if it's an urban legend might as well cash in on the name since we don't need to pay royalties to anyone and that's exactly what they did so i don't know what to expect from this game but something tells me that it's one of those games that you know it's one of those games i, I i'll let you guess what that means so um the thing is that this game forces you to use the analog stick so uh wait what or oh, you can you can choose the level okay well yeah level one i guess <laughs> who's talking familiarize your ship what do what comes naturally so basically the game seems to be the kind of game that is kind of like an endless runner or something like that. I don't know honestly, it's just one of those games that you... You wonder what the... What? Okay. What am I looking at? Damn, this is more stone than I thought. Like, I knew this was a stone, but this... Enemies can fly overhead. Well, they are enemies. Okay. Because for now it only seemed that I needed to run forward. Accuracy? What do you mean accuracy? You mean that I should carefully shoot these enemies? Yeah. No. Oh, I hit the sides of the horn, and that caused me to lose a shield. Okay, chill are the lives, basically. So, um, what was I all to say? Kinda forgot. But, you know... I really don't know what to add. That's the thing, because... To comment on what's happening, it's a... Oh, okay. Come on, dude, like... That's really fucked up. Like, if I was epileptic, that shit would have... Give me an attack. Well, that's why it says epilepsy warning on the title of the stream. But damn, that's messed up. <laughs> that's something that can actually cause you... A, an epileptic attack. Oh. Hopefully I don't die from this. Now, I wonder if the... Wait, there is something on the bottom left that I'm blocking with my camera, but I can't tell what it's supposed to mean. There is a number that is counting down. I don't know exactly what it means. It's counting down, it's about to reach a hundred. And... <laughs> there it is. Okay, it disappeared. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that countdown was for, but there was a countdown. Um, what's all to say? Did this Polyview shit... Because I'm pretty sure it's an urban legend, but... What if it actually existed? What if it was a game like this? <laughs> well, if it was a game like this... The fuck is happening? Jeez. 
Jesus. This, I, okay, I, I need to go a little bit further back because my eyes are gonna get fried from this. I don't even know how this is looking to the to the stream. Jeez. I really don't know how the bitray is handling this. I have no idea how the bitray is even being handled here. But I'm assuming not very well. Uh, well, I guess that's a good thing. Because that means that you're... That the chances of you getting an epilepsy attack from this are lower. The problem is with me, but, you know. Imagine yourself on the outer surface of what? Of a tube? Okay. It's a shame that I cannot use the arrows. I know that it's trying to emulate an arcade feeling, but I mean, it's not like the analog stick of a dual shock really resembles uh, an arcade stick. Are these enemies what I'm shooting? I guess. At least the game has achievements, so there is an. You know, you could say that there are specific objectives. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, if a game like this release in the 80s. Back then it will be considered, like, superb, probably. <laughs> Seven shield left? Wait, really? When did I get so many shields? Seems that the... Yeah, the worst obstacle are these horns. Like, hitting one of those horns instead of passing in between them kills you. And it's so far the only thing that has killed me. And it's actively killing me right now. Problem is that trying to dodge them doesn't seem like the best idea. Like it seems that it's a better idea to just go in between them. Also, why is every time that one of these shits is exploding covering the whole screen, I wonder? Because I don't appreciate that. And I feel like sometimes I legitimately have to close my eyes because this is a little bit too much even for me. New restart best shields? What? Cattle? Oh yeah, for some reason this game is related to bulls. I don't know why. Like, the main logo of the game is uh, the head of a bull, and the loading icon is a bull. <laughs> I don't know why, well, and not to mention these horns that are supposedly a bull's horns. Well, pretty sure that bull's horns don't, uh, don't look like that, like, I think they are a little bit smaller, probably. Right? Yeah, like, they, they seem a little bit too long, or maybe they are fine, I don't know. i never seen a bull in real life up close. I've seen them from a distance. Well, and in videos, obviously. What is that? Is that a boss? Are you a boss? Oh, he, he's tall, so... So, I probably should follow this path. What is that this is basically risking getting fucked by the horns? Which I wouldn't want. Not to mention that you go very fast. Perfect shooting. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't see shit. I can't see shit, I don't know what's going on. I, I mean, I see the screen flashing, okay? I'll tell you that much. Jesus. Well, at least I'm glad, you know, at first... Oh, damn it. That's 
a very anticlimactic way of ending the level. But like, at the beginning, I was thinking of the... Like, that epilepsy warning title was half a show, but... I think that right now I'm actually glad that I left that there. This shit is not... <laughs> this shit is really not... Uh, symbol shift. What do you mean by symbol shift? Is that a stage? Also, there is a voice talking and I don't know what he's, she's saying. It's a female voice. Like, I don't know if it's part of the music or if it's supposed to be giving me indications. I have no clue. Sound effects also don't help with the whole thing. I'm war. Oh, you go in slow mode. Okay. Um. Yeah, this might be one of the worst games to stream because of the beer rate. Like it has to be. I really don't want to imagine how this looks. I mean, I could try to guess, but... So every time that I finish a level, they give me a lot of shields, so... I think I have to particularly worry about crashing, because it seems that... I get almost unlimited shields. Just tried to get there, but there was a... Damn it, really? Maybe I should play with keyboard? The problem is that these kind of games, I don't like playing them with keyboard. But at the same time, playing it with an analog stick seems worse. I don't know why they can't just make it so you... I mean, especially for a game where you only move left and right, you know. So was that the last level or what? Probably no. Why did that level have no number? What level am I anyways? Doesn't say, I think. Rocket right to OT. Get the fried eggs, what? Also, why am I on the left side of the screen? Oh, I guess I don't need to. Gonna make it to them. You miss a Friday, yeah, but I barely can see them. There is so much shit on screen. You want me to see the fried eggs? I can barely see where my ship is. What happens if I don't collect the fried eggs? What are you gonna do about it? You gonna cry? Is there another button other than shooting? Because I never really asked that. Wait, I'm losing lives, but I didn't get hit by anything there, right? Oh, okay, I, I see what hit me, but... It's very hard to circumvent. I guess I'm gonna chill down here, though. If I try to go to the to the side, it's way harder to see what I'm where I'm going. Go there. Go here. It's so hard to get inside one of these things. One shield left. So what's gonna happen when you die? Because that's what's about to happen. Shield's gone. Okay, so Ned's hit is gonna be dead, I'm assuming. Wait, how 
am I not dead? Didn't I get hit? Or is death non-existent? Maybe that is non-existent, you never know. No, it is. Game over. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's how you die. But it's okay. According to this mode, you don't need to restart from the beginning. You can restart from... Well, whatever the name of the level was. This one. Rocket Ride to Oat uh, T. Wait, does it say Oat or does it say that? <laughs> With a D. Also the fried eggs. Hey, what about the fried eggs? Oh, they, they are on the floor. So when you say get the fried eggs, you mean touch them or you mean shoot them down? Well, let's see. Oh, well, some of them are very hard to get, dude. Like, come on, what was that? So apparently the peels, peels are what I'm gonna need after playing this, but other than that, the peels in the game are power-ups, it seems. I don't know when they spawn, but apparently they are power-ups. Well, power-ups, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what's with this game and its obsession with bulls. Was the original Polybius thingy related to bulls? Or is it just a very... You know... A very... Poetic way of saying that the legend is bullshit. <laughs> Maybe that's the case? I don't know. At least the music is cool. I mean, it's nothing out of the ordinary, but, you know, it, it, it's cool. Yeah, this is definitely the perfect game to listen to and not watch. <laughs> I don't think that watching this game... <laughs> How far was I from the Ed City, then? I wonder. That was weird, because I'm pretty sure I took less time here than in the previous run, but... Okay. I mean, then again, you can restart from wherever, so it doesn't matter. There are other two modes that I'm assuming that they are modes that are like the arcade modes that basically you lose all your lives and you have to start all over from the beginning. I also wonder what the achievements are gonna be about, because... Not like you can do... very specific shit here. Oh, what the hell, dude? Well... Yeah, you know, there aren't many streams that I rewatch. I mean, many streams of mine that I rewatch. I think that this is the kind of stream that I would love to rewatch just to see how this shit even looks like. Because I can't imagine this looking good. Well, not like it looks particularly good on my end, but I mean... At least you can kinda make out what's going on. I can't imagine that being the same case on stream. Wait, that was the level? That was super short. That level was extremely easier than the previous one. What gives? Huh, okay. Sure. Victoria Station. I kinda regret, 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 um, 
dying on that previous stage because it seems that at least on this mode the game is super easy. But I don't even know how long the game is, so maybe I'm saying this because these are like the first 10 levels and the game has like a hundred. Which I honestly doubt, but you never know. So why are they random words on the screen? This tried to be a, a subliminal message. But yeah, I guess that's the point of the game. Playing with the fact that... Uh, you know, that the original Urban Legend was supposed to be some brainwashing the thing. That's probably the case. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe this is an actual brainwashing game. Like, without any irony behind it. Maybe I am being brainwashed at this very moment. You never know. Then again, brainwashed to do what? Is the question. I wonder. Oh, there is a flag. To playing golf. Wait, am I supposed to dodge this or...? I think I am supposed to do this, right? Wait, am I? Or or what? Wait, I don't get it. Am I supposed to dodge this or, or not? No, I'm not. Okay. But I'm... Yeah, alright, you're supposed to pick them up. Or, wait. Are you supposed to pick them up or not? What the hell? Maybe only the blue ones? But what about the red ones? Because I'm pretty sure I got hit... Yeah, by that, exactly. So what the hell is this flag's problem? Right, it's like you're getting hit? I, d I don't know. I don't get it. What, what is... No, I think the gimmick is that there is like a target lightning that you are supposed to dodge on the spot, maybe. The blue ones you can pick them up at least, but... Yeah, I don't get it, dude. Yeah, shield's gone, but... How the fuck does this work? <laughs> what the hell? I got scammed. Huh? What is this game's problem? Wait, what was the stage again? Oscillate this one, right? I think it was this one. Maybe? Was it? Wait, was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. So, I avoid these red things. Yeah, it seems, because I don't lose any shield, but these blue ones... No, but I'm also supposed to dodge the blue ones. What the hell is their problem then? See, but that's the thing. If I dodge the blue ones, it counts as a wall, so... I don't know, dude. Or am I supposed to go further? Like, what's the gimmick? <laughs> what the hell? I mean, at least... The, the, but the problem is, sometimes you pick them up and sometimes you don't. I just don't get it, what it depends on. Maybe the direction the flag is looking at. Like, maybe the fact that it's looking at the left side or the right side. See, I, I don't get it, dude. What the fuck? What is going on? Yeah, I just don't get this. And the game doesn't explain shit. I mean, that's the point of the game, that it doesn't explain shit. What? Oh, 
So it seems I don't get it. What what am I supposed to do? Damn. Wish I understood, but I'm a little bit lost in here. Are there some instructions that I'm not reading or what? I I, I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to follow... Oh wait, that one doesn't work now? But dude, I pick up that same flag before. What the hell? I think I'm just supposed to follow... No, but... This path is always going the same way, right? Or maybe I am supposed to follow the path. The problem is that I can barely even see the path. That's the issue. Like, the, those dots on the ground... Yeah, I think that's the gimmick? No, I, I don't think so. What is the gimmick then? No, no, it's not the gimmick because I'm following it here and it just doesn't work, so... I don't know what's the deal. Maybe you're supposed to pick power-ups? Like, to circumvent that? I don't know. Damn. Why doesn't the game explain you how it works? <laughs> what the fuck? Everything I'm at up until now kinda made sense. This doesn't make sense. I'm not sure. Well, oh, I think I get it. Wait a second. It is about the side of what the flag is pointing at. So when it's pointing right, you go right. When it's pointing left, you go left. Well, okay. All right. See, the problem with that is that I don't think you should have made it different color. Because making it different color makes me think that they function differently. Not that they are the same, but whatever. Fuck you. Guess I should have listened to my instinct when it said... Say that about the direction of the flag. It's basically shoot zigzagging. God damn it. And I mean, not even the name of the stage suggested anything. The name of the stage is called Oscillate. Which has little to do with zigzagging. I think this is supposed to be the end of the level, right? I, mean, I keep hitting the, the horns. Probably should try to see... Oh, I don't think I can even play this with a keyboard. <laughs> like, or if I, if I want to play with a keyboard, I probably should disconnect the controller. Everything is floating eternally. And the level is cool is called bully for you. Are you gonna get bullied? Well I mean my eyes are already getting bullied. So you know I don't think it will be anything new. My eyes and now my ears are getting bullied too. Wait, that was bullshit. I didn't hit the sides. I went right in. Come on. Are 
you can break those things, you're supposed to dodge. Win some kind of pinball machine. So here come the bulls, huh? Damn it, come on. And you have no iframes after hitting something. My shield. Well, it's a shame because this is close to the end of the level, right? I'm pretty sure that's literally the end of the level. It is. Uh, him, but I barely have any shields. That's the problem. Wait, did I win? Not yet. Other world. Huh. Get it? Wait, but in that case, these are cows. These are not bulls. Wait, what? Oh, I'm flying? Okay, so that power up allows you to temporarily fly. Okay. supposed to be going. This place is a little bit empty. That's what I'm trying to say. Wait, so you can stay in the air by... by shooting something. I don't know exactly what, but apparently if you shoot something while in the air, you stay in the air. And it's not enemies or destructible objects, I think it's something very particular. Oh, I am supposed to go up there. Well, the problem is I am supposed to go up, but I didn't even see the arrows. I mean, now I see it here, but... I guess I should follow the path. I'm also going very slow. It would be nice if I amend that. Oh, it's... I'm dead. Oh, not dead, that's right. When you get all your shields gone, you... You can get hit one more time. Problem is that moving to those up platforms seems a little bit hard. You're supposed to do it super fast. Oh, you were supposed to stay in the air all that time? Damn, that's brutal. Problem is that now, having so little shields, by the time I reach this level, uh, that's probably gonna be bad, because this level seems even worse than the previous one, and the previous one was already hard, so... to lose the way because the problem is that the that path that marks where you're supposed to go is the same color as the floor for the most part uh -oh. 
For example, there I didn't know where I was supposed to go because I just don't see the path. Is that supposed to be a cow? That cow seems to be a little bit stone, if you allow me to say it. Just like the whole game. Well, I have a shield somehow, so I can get through this just because of that one. Not anymore, damn it. The problem is that I will beat this level with shields gone. Which will be quite annoying. For the next level. Whatever it is. Yeah, I think they give you three shields per per level, basically. I think that's the point. So I think that at the beginning they give you less shields. Plasma tube inner. Oh, it really. It would be really interesting to see what was going through the mind of the creator when he made this game. Well, when he made this game, and maybe outside of that as well, to see what can possibly cause the human mind to conceive uh, a game like this. You know. Oh. I thought I wouldn't get hit if I shun. Oh, because those are rotating things, I guess. Maybe that hit me? Probably. Oh. Now, that mode that doesn't increase shield between levels is absolutely brutal. Because it's not like you have to... I don't think you have to beat it all in one go. But there comes a point where you basically have to perfect every stage. I mean, at your own pace, but you still need to do it without getting hit. At the end of each level, you really should close your eyes. <laughs> At the end of each level, it's better to just close them because... I mean, most of the time you just need to go in a straight line, so it's not like you need to know what you're, where you are going to. Okay. So it seems that in every level, 
I'm gonna start with only three shields at this rate. Or on the outer side of the plasma too. Well, isn't this like the other one? Like the one that had the flags? Hopefully this one doesn't have flags though. I wonder if jumping here is required or not. Because so far it isn't. Oh, it is. It is! Are you serious? You know, now that I see this upside down... It's pretty funny because when you use game capture on this game on OBS... For some reason it shows up upside down by default. Basically you need to edit that OBS uh, object and make it mirror itself vertically. But I have no idea why. Like, for what reason they, that happens. Seems like a very random thing, right? Or will the game just randomly swap vertically? Doesn't seem to make much sense, right? If I had to revert it, because of that. Oh, you have to be shitting. If I wasn't fast enough there, it was impossible to... to dodge that. I got killed by one of the horns. Damn it. It's okay. I probably should farm shields in the other levels, but I don't know. Oh, also I just realized that if you select the levels with up and down instead of left and right, uh, it moves five levels at once. So that makes me think this game has a lot of levels. A lot is relative, I guess, but how many could it have, though? I wonder, 30? I'm guessing 30. I'm gonna have 30 levels total. I don't know if that's gonna be the case, but I think that it's a relatively safe uh, bet, right? Him. There are two of those and you... Wait, I need to restart that. There are two barriers in a row. You get hit by both and you lose two shields, even though there is literally nothing you can do. Not to mention how hard it even is to, to see these things in the first place. still keep hearing cows in the distance. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, dude, especially with all the shit flying from the fact that I'm hitting it, it's just super hard to locate exactly where these bouncers are supposed to be. In. They constantly switch locations, so... Oh, come on. 
can it do? That's so messed up. But even if you had nine shields, I think that it would still be the same problem. Because it just takes you by surprise. Completely. one. I'm warp. Well, that's gonna help me, I guess. Well, it's gonna help me. I mean, see, the problem is in this time warp, that whole screen distortion doesn't really help me see what's going on. Even though it helps me at least, you know. Taking a slower look. Uh, oh, I bre I broke through that I think because I had a power up or some shit. Probably. And I had a power up there too. I did not have a power up there, however. Damn it, dude. Yeah, this level is absolutely brutal. I prefer the left and right gimmick rather than the bouncer gimmick. Because, I mean, if the bouncer gimmick was always at the center of the screen and you needed to dodge obstacles before going back to the center, that would be something. But having to pretty much guess where it's gonna be... And again, I don't even know if you can see the bouncers in the first place. Well, in case you can't see the bouncers, there is basically some things in the ground that look like arrows that are going up. And if you step on the base of those arrows, you jump. That's basically the point. Oh, I don't even know if you can see them because of all of the shit that's going on at the same time, but, you know. They are there. I'm not crazy. I have no idea how to do this level. <laughs> and the worst part is that this is a 2. So it is entirely possible to not see anything. Like, for example, here, I just couldn't see where the bouncer was. Maybe it was on the left side, but it was impossible to figure out. Uh, fucking stoner-ass game, but it's okay. their position is static, so you could technically memorize every single bouncer in the stage, but it seems like a very shitty solution, to say the least. Doesn't seem like the best solution. one being there at the right was it okay i'm gonna check if next time it's at the right because i don't remember it being originally at the right if this is random that will be fucked up but maybe it was at the right and my memory just sucks damn it's so stupid because you can barely see the path 
much less you are gonna be able to see the where the bouncer is supposed to be. You see, there is a very faint path that you can see. It is on the right side, okay. I don't know where that was. I suspected. So if you don't have enough speed, that by the way is not something that depends on you. Like if you don't have enough speed, uh, even if you jump, you're not gonna make it. Yeah, I don't know about this level, dude. <laughs> At this level might have been a mistake. Might have. I'm not sure. The problem is that this is like the third stage in a row that has this same gimmick. Wait, dude, it wasn't at the right... Wait, is this random for real? Because this time it wasn't at the right side, right? Or what the hell is wrong? As I say, we've been having this gimmick for like three stages in a row, so something tells me that this shit is gonna keep going. Like, this is not uh, 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 the only stage that's gonna have this, so that's gonna be a problem. I don't know where I was supposed to go. What? the hell? But even having 9 shields, like I could retry the previous level and try to get more... more shields, but considering that you can lose 3 shields in only one jump, I don't think that that's the best idea. This game is actually gonna be hard to beat. I thought that this was a, a harmless stoner game, but. Wow, shield's gone already? Really? <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, this doesn't seem very harmless to me. the arrow but I didn't. I don't know, I, I'm really tempted though to try the previous level again. Well the problem is that it's not like the previous level was any easier. The previous level was also about this, the difference is that you could clearly see where you were heading. Here you you just don't see where these shits are, where these bounces are supposed to be. That's messed up. Even though I saw that one, it was so far away. 
come on, what kind of garbage is that? There's nothing you can do there. If you go slow enough, you can get past those walls. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah, I think the best idea is gonna be replaying... Pr probably not only the previous level, but most of the levels before this and farm shields and tank the whole thing. This doesn't seem like the kind of thing that you can just casually beat. I still don't get why I will get hit there though. This shit doesn't make any sense. feel that I'm, I should farm shields just to, to tank through these walls, because it seems very clear to me that trying to do it the intended way is almost impossible. This is one of the times where not being able to see is very bad. Uh, I don't know, I guess I should start from this one, the other world. Well, the problem is that this is where the bounce shit starts. That's the issue. So it's not like this... Or was it here? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was here. But it's not like these levels are gonna be free. That's the problem. But... I really need those nine shields. And even that might not be enough. But if I keep retrying that level like I'm doing... Nothing good is gonna come out of that. Now the issue is that I need to beat these levels without getting hit, so... Maybe a, an easier idea to... You know, I don't know. <laughs> to start from the... The level before this, maybe? I don't know. Doing this without getting hit doesn't seem like something that that seems particularly easy, you know. As you can see. And that's messed up because I couldn't turn fast enough there. Even though I follow the way as it told me. I could retry, I guess. I want to see how hard the rest of this level is, because I don't remember. I only remember these shams. No, it's a hard level overall. It's because this gimmick is so fucking garbage. Okay. No, I think the, the best thing to do this is by replaying the ones that didn't have this shitty ass gimmick. In fact... I don't think it's a bad idea to to start from Oscillate. Because this one... This one I got hit mostly because I didn't understand the gimmick, but... I can definitely not get hit that many times. I mean, at the end it kinda gets hard because it gets faster, but... It should be fine. Why is there a minus? Wait, what hit me there? I don't know what hit me there. Whatever. I mean, I, I don't... If I have nine shields, I don't necessarily need to... To not get hit a single time. As long as I end the level with six shields, I think it's gonna start the next one with full shields. That shouldn't be a problem by itself. Uh, was that even possible? Is there a button that makes me... 
that makes me turn sharper. Because at that speed, I don't think that turn was possible, right? It's not like I can manipulate the speed. I can only manipulate what I shoot. Unless shooting makes me go faster, which might be the case, I don't know. That's a very bad amount of shield. Isn't this... I think this is one shield better, probably. At least hopefully. Oh, never mind. I'm pretty sure it's not now. I think I might have gotten more points, but who gives a shit about points? Yeah, I think this is literally the exact same amount of shields I had. And I think that there is no escape, huh? Damn. It's gonna be brutal then. I mean, if I can reduce the amount of shields lost here, I don't even remember what was the gimmick of this stage, if it even had a gimmick. Like what even hits you in this stage, in the first place? I guess a better question is what doesn't hit you. that the reason why I struggle... Oh, okay, okay, I get it. So the problem are these obstacles, basically. These obstacles are super hard to to see. Well, everything is super hard to see, but it just happens that those obstacles hit you. But you kinda need to see them, you know. Dude, come on. That I need to restart. The problem is that if I keep doing this, I'm never gonna get back to the stage I was. Know how I didn't get hit by that? Oh, but I got hit by that. You know, I'm getting hit by everything. See, this is the problem, dude. Like, if I perform like this, it's gonna be the same as nothing. Damn it. Well, you know... I mean, it really feels like you're an spectator more than anything. <laughs> In this game. And that's because you can barely see what the fuck is going on. Well, that and I feel that your well, car, ship, or whatever it's supposed to be should turn faster. Because there are some turns here that are not easy at all to do at these high speeds. Oh, well, I guess at some point the idea is to, to go so fast that you become invincible. Because when you collect uh, a couple of these horns in a row, you go into some sort of hyper speed thingy that basically give, makes you invincible. I think that's the point. It might be the point. Well, that was definitely better than last time, wasn't it? Last time I had like already three shields left on the other one, so I think that this was better. I think that my points are lower, but who gives a shit? <laughs> okay. But with that, I can start this level with a shield. 
No, but I think I started this one with around that amount, didn't I? Or did I start it with three? No, I think I started this one with, with three. So this is better, no matter what. Now obviously I need to perform well on this one. That should be fine. This is this gimmick really has to be the worst shit that you can put in this game. Because I feel like if you're gonna put a gimmick like that, it should have a a way better uh, hit loss. I'm better, I mean bigger, not better particularly. Like the hitbox should, should be bigger. Because you're going so fast and you see so little because of everything else that is going on the screen. That it really feels that at times it's impossible to reach it. Well, if you're slow you can, you have more time to react. But I think that being slow is kind of like the opposite of what you want to be in this game. I think that this gimmick is a little bit of a mistake. Okay, so that's gonna be nine shields for the next stage, which is which is the stage previous to the one I'm stuck. So as long as I can only die three times, which I already did, uh, I should have max shield charge for the stage I'm struggling uh, struggling with. So this is exactly what I needed, basically. Exactly what I needed. So it wasn't a bad idea to do this. How the fuck are you supposed to go between these horns if that shit's gonna be there? Is I supposed to shoot it down? I don't know. Now the question is how much. Like how many shields I'm gonna waste on the on the next level. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna waste them all. Really feel like that's gonna be the case. Should re restart this level considering that I already got killed twice for free at the beginning. But there is that odd chance that I might be able to not get hit anymore. Seems a little bit delusional, but you know, it's possible. I, I, I don't even see the arrow. There is so much shit that I just don't even see the arrows. I know I'm taking them, but... Taking them by accident more than anything else. And I got hit by a bull. That's kinda funny. Kinda. Like, of all the shit I could have gotten hit by, it was a fucking bull. A bull that, by the way, appeared out of nowhere. I don't know why he was there. And again, this game, it seems that bulls appearing out of nowhere is kind of like... Like the main gimmick of the... Of the game. 
There are bulls everywhere. I don't know where the arrows were there. I have no idea where they were. Sadly, I'm not gonna get with the maximum amount of lives. That's the, the problem. On the bright side, I'm gonna get with, the, with 8 shields, which is almost maximum. I mean, I could retry this, but I mean, 8 shields is quite a lot, right? So, I will say that I should be able to do it here. Hopefully. Well, let's try, I mean. Not like we can do anything else. So this is the level that I got stuck in. Now, I'm obviously still gonna get hit by the same shit I got hit before. But that's the point. Being able to get hit by that without game overing. That's the whole point about it. We will see how effective it is. Or if it's gonna be for nothing. I don't know. And look at where the fucking... It's so ridiculous. It's so fucking stupid. Was all the way to the bottom of the tube. Impossible to see from above, basically. already two shields gone. And that's also the most messed up part. Like, you miss one of these and it's not just to lose one shield, you lose multiple depending on how many walls the asshole that made this level decided to put there. But it's fine. Bad idea when you get hit by something that is not a wall. Because you cannot have that little luxury in a level like this, you know? I wonder if they even follow a pattern. Like these arrows, I mean. Like, are they supposed to always spawn, like, in a perfect circle? Or what the fuck is the deal? At least I go to the part with the horns, but... There is... there are still more walls, so... We beat the, the stage. Somehow. I don't know. I barely saw what happened at the end, but... We beat the stage at least. But as I said before, the problem is that there's gonna be more shit like this. Like, I'm pretty sure this uh, arrow gimmick is here to stay. And that's a pain in the ass, honestly. But, you know. If it's not here to stay, and it actually ends here, that would be nice. So this stage is called Assimilated. What are we assimilating? I wonder. Oh, yeah. As I say, this shit is here to stay. Oh, and it... What's worse is that just like the previous level, it's possible to miss this possible to not know where they are because it's not a, a complete uh, you know plane wait what, what's hitting me I mean yeah I know what's hitting me but 
How do they work? Are, are, are those the diamonds there? Like, I'm just supposed to dodge them horizontally or what? I guess. It also seems that unlike other... Yeah, okay. So unlike other objects in previous ga games, <laughs> in previous levels, you're not really supposed to um, hit them in the air. There were others that you, you could hit in the air without a problem, and you wouldn't get killed, but you are gonna get killed here. Or free. You don't want that. I think that for the most part... You cannot even go near this, uh, these things or what? Or even close? That's what you're trying to tell me? Well, the problem is that shooting them scatters them, making them wider and being easier to get hit by them. Maybe what I'm supposed to do is to not get hit. Maybe that's the, the gimmick here. Uh, no, I mean not get hit, I mean not hitting them. Yeah, obviously, yeah, the gimmick is not getting hit, yeah, that's the fucking point of the game, but I mean in not hitting them on my own, with my bullets. But dude, I can barely see them coming, sometimes they are right above me. Oh, is this a boss? It kinda smells like a boss. But... There hasn't been a boss before. These were usually just decorations. I'm not sure. Am I supposed to use this to hit him or, or what? Mm, doesn't look like it, no. Okay, so now I'm not supposed to use these things to shun? It's not like jumping is really doing anything, so it might be a better idea to just stay on the ground and dodge. Maybe. Well, it doesn't seem like I need to vertically dodge anything, so I can just stay on the ground, right? It seems like a way better idea to stay on the ground. Staying in the air for that is a lot harder. But it's okay. shouldn't shoot in this first in this first section of the level. It really seems that it just makes them worse. It just make them more angry. It just get more angry when I shoot them, which is understandable, but you know. Maybe I'm supposed to constantly move. Well yeah. That's the problem of constantly moving. Without having a direction, I just miss the arrows. But unfortunately, at the beginning of the level are actually necessary. That was weird. Okay, so at this point is where I shouldn't care about jumping where I can just stay on the ground and that should be more than enough. But I can also keep being in the air, I guess. But it makes it a little bit harder to see, I feel. Well, I'm getting points for free at least, so that's something. 
I don't know what hit me there. Was it the Q? It didn't seem that it was even close, but... If you say so, I got an achievement probably because of being in the air for 50 seconds. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Probably should stop being in the air like this, but... Oh, yeah, there it is. So, basically, for what I've seen, I only need to dodge ho horizontally. So, there is no need to do any jumping yet. And hopefully it will remain that way. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to shoot down someone here, even. Doesn't look like it, though. Holy good. Okay. But it ain't over yet. Wow. That's messed up. Dude, you can get killed by something that you are literally not seeing because it's behind you. What? kind of horseshit is that? <laughs> like, what? How is that the case? Maybe I shouldn't shoot. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. At least when... Oh no, but I... I need to shoot. I need to shoot because they are shooting me and those projectiles can only be neutralized by shooting at them. No matter what happens, I need to shoot. But I had the impression. Okay, so it seems that they are both enemies. Like, yeah, they are enemies in the ground that I don't even notice that they are there because I shoot them immediately. But they are there. Alright. So, how was I supposed to avoid that, for example? What, what was the secret? I don't know. I don't know what's the secret. Because it seems very clear to me that... There is a very random factor here. I don't know. What you mean very nice? I got fucked up. That's very nice for you? Okay, so this is the time. I can avoid being in the air. That's gonna make it easier. Obviously it will give me more points to to stay in the air, but it seems way more confusing to me. There is no reason to do it. But sometimes you randomly hit the arrows. And I don't know why there is a mechanic in this game that when you shoot some indestructible obstacles while you're flying, you keep flying. <laughs> I don't know why that's a gimmick, but you know, it is. One of those cues or what? Okay, 
Seems that you can hit some cubes if you have this sort of shield. Shield's gone. I don't believe that. Wait, maybe the game is gonna bug out and I'm gonna reach the end and it's gonna count it. Or no. It was a, a good attempt. But no, it doesn't work like that. Well, there are some games that do work like that. Like Boshi, for example. When you beat a boss, if you die, as long as you wait, it's gonna send you... Well, I guess it depends on the boss, too. But yeah, it could happen. And if it happens, obviously I'm gonna take it. It was a very dumb death, though. But it's okay. What? What hit me there? Dude! It seems that no matter what I do, at the beginning of this stage, I will always uh, lose... Oh, shield's gone, okay. Restart. The good thing is that if I somehow don't get hit here, I could get 7 shields in total for the next level. I don't even know how the next level is gonna be. How fucked up it's gonna be, I mean. hit by something that was behind me and it was literally impossible to see. My bad. Well, some of this you can clearly see, but it feels like it's so random when they decide to attack. Like, I just don't get the, the behavior of these things. Maybe it's dependent on the color, some of them attack and some of them just fly, I don't know. Oh, I got to the end once, I can get to the end again. Couldn't be a problem. So this part feels so empty. This part with these spikes. Because, I mean, you need to dodge the spikes, yeah, but... It doesn't seem that hard to do, especially when you can permanently fly. I mean, you also are supposed to dodge those cubes. What is that? A big of a deal? Okay. The, the cube are the real, the real threat in this uh, part. The spikes are there just for decoration, pretty much. Okay, stop shooting. There are actually some pills that you cannot pick up uh, unless you're on the ground. So, being up here. No all advantages or anything like that. So after this section there was a very similar section to the first one. 
problem is that I have no shields and everything that hits me will be a game over, as you can see, including that thing that was off screen and I had no way to avoid, including that. Tim, what were they thinking? <laughs> now, you know, Like, I definitely could understand the randomness and how hard it is to see shit on the first levels. Hey Yannick, how is it going? Don't play this, Yami will finally be able to take you away. Are you saying that this is made specifically so Yami brainwashes me? Maybe. You know, <laughs> it might be the case. Yeah, uh, I don't know what to think of this game, honestly. Because it seemed like it was interesting at the beginning. Because it basically was a stoner ass game that you should go forward and you know dodge a little bit of some shits. You couldn't see shit in the process, but you didn't really need to. But in these levels, the problem is that the game is like, alright, you know what? We understand that you can see shit, but you will need to. Because if you don't, uh, you die. So, you know, have fun. <laughs> That's the problem. Like, the game is particularly... I mean, it's particularly known for... That. For not really being able to understand what the fuck is going on. But in this last four levels, you need to see some very specific things in the ground, which are these arrows that I don't even know if you can see. But there are some arrows that go upwards. Well, if you don't see that, you're gonna die. Well, not here particularly. Here they are completely optional. But in previous levels, they weren't completely optional. Well, in some sections of this particular level, they are also not optional. I think that that's a mistake in terms of the game's direction. Like, I would have preferred this to remain a stoner game and not a game where you needed to do something. <laughs> like, you needed to do something that required you to pay attention. Because it's almost impossible to pay attention with how little you can even see. Also, hey Yami, how is it going? Well, I'm pretty sure you can see even less because of the of the compression and the bit rate. But even I, that I'm seeing the game live, right? That I'm seeing the game without any compression or any encoder I'm just seeing it straight from the source. It looks like a mess. And again, that is fine, because that's the point of the game. But if you're gonna ask me to be precise while the game looks like a mess... I mean... That's a little bit... Nonsensical, I feel. <laughs> you know? I feel, personally. Like, you know. The worst part is that... <laughs> I don't think that it that you can really criticize this game so much because the whole point of this game is to be based on on that urban legend of a game that was unreleased because of you know because of how epileptic and all that shit it was, right? So even if you say that that the game <laughs> Is a, is a mess in every sense, that that will still be on the vision that the developers probably wanted. So that wouldn't even be a criticism. Like, look at this, for example. Getting hit by shit that you can barely even see because it's almost off-screen. 
And you're supposed to be precise. Like, what are you smoking? Well, then again. To make this game, you already probably had smoked something uh, of dubious quality. But still, it's like, what the hell? You can also get killed by things coming from behind, by the way. Because, yes, you can get fucked. Uh, you know, it's okay. Like, look, look at this! What's hitting me? What the fuck is hitting me? And there are no iframes, so if you get hit by three of these things in a row... You are gonna get hit three times. You're gonna lose three shields. It's okay. You know what? I mean, I should have seen this coming. I should have seen this coming. I don't know why I didn't see this coming. I guess I should suspect that this to be one of those games that, you know, you should go forward and nothing else happens, right? But the fact that it actually requires you to dodge and shit is ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. But you know, it's okay. I mean... It's what I get. It's what I get... For buying stoner games. It's what I get. See, but this is the problem. As I mentioned some streams ago, because of games like this, is that a lot of people can't take in the game seriously and at the same time are afraid of supporting them. Because they think that they are buying shit. So I think that's the problem with games like this. Like, the fact that I'm playing a shitty game is like, whatever, it's just another game. I'm gonna forget about this tomorrow, right? But it's more as how it works in a grand scale. I feel like these games are more damaging than anything else. To indie games as a whole. Well, you know, it's okay. What really hurts is that I was about to beat this stage. And I got hit by the very last obstacle of the stage. That's what really stings. And we will be done with this shitty ass stage, but no. It's okay, though. Well, I say that this game might have 30 levels. I really hope it does. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't. And if it has 30 levels, that the remaining 15 are not like this one and are like the beginning of the game. Like, the beginning of the game was fine. It's just that at some point, it, it tried to to turn into an actual shoot em up well i mean you could say that it was always a shoot em up but the thing is that a shoot em up where you're supposed to dodge shit that's what i mean like no dude you don't do that in a game where you can't see shit well, i guess i'm gonna keep moving left to right that seems like the no, never mind. E even doing that doesn't make you do shit. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, I'm mostly pissed about the fact that I could have beaten this level. And I didn't. 
Because I fucked up right at the end. That really stings. Are your Toho skills? And I wish I was playing Toho, dude. See, these are the kind of games that make UFO look like a masterpiece. These are the kind of games. These are the kind of games that make even the worst games that you can think of, it, they make it look like a masterpiece. Oh man. What the fucking fuck? How is it possible? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? I don't even know how I'm supposed to dodge this, honestly. At least I had a shield there. I don't even know how long... See, that's another thing. Like, aside from your shields, which in reality are just your... is your life counter, there are also some shields that you get as a power-up. And apparently those shields are... You know, they allow you to take hits without losing lives. But I have no clue how much they last. Like for example, I was able to break that and not die, and it was still active, so I'm not even sure how it works. It's very weird. But you know, whatever. The more you try to find Lost Chick, the more you get pissed. Don't try to find Logic. You should be fine. At least this middle section of the stage is not that bad. It's it's just dodging these pillars that you can clearly see, and that's it. Well, and those cubes. The, the cubes are the hard part, but you can clearly see the cubes. It's just that they are very big, but you can still see them very well. I'm losing all those wheels. Shouldn't be flying. Every single pill. It is so hard to dodge. It is almost <laughs> like, dude. See, at least I could see what killed me there, but it's so hard because it's so full of shit. Like the screen, it's so full of shit that. I don't know, dude, what you want me to do. Oh, man. It's alright, though. See? I think that I just need to not give it that much importance. I'm giving it a lot of importance. Something that... It's gonna eventually happen. Like, I know I can beat this. It's just gonna take time, but we know that it will happen. Yeah. You see that shit and it's hard to believe that it will happen, but trust me, it will happen. Also, very fitting that this level is called Assimilator, yeah. Especially the ass part. That, that one is clearly there. Though, at least, I'm gonna say that compared to the previous level, this level is not even as offensive. Because, I mean, yeah, you can get suddenly killed by random bullshit here. But, at the very least, 
most of the stuff that kills you, you can kinda see it. Kinda. I'm being very generous here. But the previous level you couldn't even see. Like, sometimes it was in literally impossible to know where you were supposed to go. Oh man, why did I fucking buy this game? It's okay. I mean, honestly, the fact that they picked this particular name they are very smart, because they know that people are gonna be curious because of this fucking name. Uh, but that's so messed up. That's playing so dirty. That's playing dirty. It's messed up. I'm not sure if I understand what the difference between the pink enemies and the not pink enemies is. What were the reviews? The reviews were positive. Honestly, at some point, the reviews... I mean, when a game is not very known, most of the reviews are from people that know the creator. Like the creator is like, hey mom, can you review this game for me? And say all this shit. So, that's the thing. Reviews are accurate when you have a lot of them. Well, accurate. They at least warn you of games that don't go through a specific standard. But, you know, for short games, well, short, small games like this that nobody fucking knows, no. <laughs> it's not very reliable. Oh, man. Why? 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 It's fine though. See, when you find despair, you need to remember... To remember I don't know what you need to remember I wish I <laughs> I wish I knew because I will need because I'm in despair right now so see for example this shield that power-up shield that I pick up for some reason now is still active after like 10 seconds and some other times that shield only lasts for less than one second so i don't understand what even is the the point like see for example here it, it disappears almost immediately so is it because it's a different power up maybe that's the point maybe it's a completely different power up I don't know. It's hard to tell. Not like the power-ups are very easy to differentiate. Well, not like anything is easy to differentiate, really. So, you know, the power-ups are no different.
So apparently this is a shield that lasts a long time. No, never mind. I thought I understood it, but yeah. Wait. I thought that when I had this rainbow bullshit I was invincible. Or whatever, I beat the level. I, I don't care what happened, I beat the level and with two remaining shields, so that means that I'm gonna have five for the next level. Okay. I don't give a shit. I don't know what happened, don't ask. Let's take it. But see, that's the thing. You think about it like, damn, I'm finally going to the next level. Uh, not like the next level is gonna be any better, that's the problem. Who is Sinclair? Go back and do it properly. Well, funnily enough, in the, the stage previously to that one, I didn't have enough lives remaining, so I literally had to go back the previous stages to do them properly. Okay, I think I understand the gimmick here. The gimmick is supposed to be... Like, I know that it's hard to even understand what's going on, but the gimmick is going so fast that you get through these obstacles. I think. These obstacles that look like spikes. I think the only way to get through them is by going super fast. Probably. Also, you know that you could have this stage without raping my ears, you know? Like that, that is not necessary. My eyes are already getting raped. I, I don't need the ears to join the, 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 the assault. Also, I know that you can see my ship, but honestly, I can barely see it. When I'm paying attention to what's going on, I can barely see my ship. Okay, so, well, that was very bad. I completed the level without any life left. I probably will have to redo this one. Ear rape is necessary for brainwashing? Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna redo that level later. I just want to see what's what's after this. The cows of summer. It says something about keeping your speed high. Wait, so this is isn't this the same gimmick as the previous stage? I basically just go fast to avoid the, the obstacles. At the very least, here I can clearly see my vehicle. And that's messed up, dude. Some of these are so hard to... Like, this go from one extreme of the screen to the other. And this ship can get... Oh, no. Oh, uh, this gimmick is still here. God damn it. Why is this fucking gimmick still here? Why are you like this? I mean, sometimes you can see the arrows pretty clearly, but some other times you cannot even see the arrows. That's the thing, for something that is so crucial, you will think that they will be easier to see, but no, they are not. Ah, uh, that didn't hit me, you sack of shit, I wasn't even close. I wasn't even close, like, come on, what are you even talking about? You can see the replay to see that I wasn't even close. Levels are relatively easy compared to the previous ones. Hopefully it stays that way. 
Uh, but yeah, I could have done that better. Could have done that way better than that. Yeah, I don't know how much longer the game is gonna go on. That's the issue. Oh, and it's another one of these cylinder levels. The issue with these cylinder levels is that a lot of times they require you to go... to go down, to go to the other... well, like this, exactly. But sometimes you can't even see that you're supposed to go down. That's the issue. I mean, here it's a little bit more explicit, but you will see that at some point it's gonna go so fast that... You just won't see it. But like there, for example. So at least this is not a full cylinder like in one of the previous levels. This is actually a half cylinder, I guess. So you don't go all the way around. Oh, but it, it has these fucking walls. Oh, this is gonna be just as impossible as the other level, god damn it. Wait, where did the music go? Oh, there is the music. Wait, didn't he already say shield's gone before? What changed? That's pretty funny that I can't get to the other side no matter what I do. Oh wait, I didn't... No, no, don't, don't play this level. Go to the other one. Well, I honestly should restart since break space to get more shields. Like, or this one, but... I mean, I first want to see how hard this shit gets. somehow go faster and or get a shield something like that well the problem here is that i'm slow enough to not get past these things yeah, I, at that point dude what am i supposed to do like is that a guarantee restart but might as well you know restart it automatically if there's no other way to do it because you are not fast enough to get past those jumps. And the only way to get speed is if there was a horn like this. But there wasn't a horn. I got killed by a random bull. That you didn't even see, probably, by the way. It was so fast. Uh, and I really want to know how many stages this game has.
I wonder where the hell the arrows were in those walls. As a literal, I mean, I didn't see a single one. No comes this shit. Oh man. He... No, here's the the real problem. The real problem is if I don't beat this game today, I don't really think I want to start tomorrow's stream playing this garbage. So I need to beat this trash today, but I don't know if I can. I, like, I don't even know how many levels this game has. If it has 20, I might be able to, but if it has 30 as I predicted, there is no way I can do it. The fuck were the arrows? Are you shitting me? Where? And then no matter what here. Oh man, how can like I think it takes effort. I think it takes effort to make a game this bad. Like that's the thing. You might think that the reason why this game is bad is because of laziness. But I think that a lazy attempt at making this game will have been better than whatever this shit is supposed to be. But it's okay, no worries. Is that the same bull that killed me last time? I think it was. Some of these bulls, you cannot see them until they are literally right next to you. Like that one, for example. And there are more, that's the issue. It's full of these bulls. Or full of this bullshit, more like. surviving this one Can we get to the end of the level please? Oh, so 
Oh, sound looks like it. Maybe, yeah, this should be. Yeah, this is the end of the level. Okay. Oof. Beware what? Wait, it's not the end of the level. Is it? Well, that's weird because it didn't end in a... In a super fast... Huh? Hey, hi, pay me. How is it going? Yeah, I'm playing a, a, a trippy game. I am indeed. Wish I wasn't, though. Some shots are aimed at you personally. It's a little bit too late to tell me that. Like, that's been the case since the last fucking 10 stages, so... Thanks for letting me know right now that that's the case. Interesting sound effect. Are these blue things obstacles? Because half the time I'm not even getting hit by them. But I can't tell if, if that's because I'm going fast or not. It doesn't seem like I have a shield active most of the time, so I'm not sure. See, for example, right there, it killed me. But why it doesn't kill me half the time, so... Oh man, I really hope that stage 20 is the last stage, dude. I really hope that I was wrong at the beginning when I say that stage 30 was gonna be the... That there were gonna be 30 stages. Oh man... But it's fine. I have hope. I have hope. That that's gonna be the case. And we're all gonna be happy. Uh, I mean, the case that they are 20, right? Okay, that, that's so stupid. that a game over and not the ones before. I, it does it randomly decide when you don't have enough speed that that's gonna crush you? There is no clear indicator, you know?
I don't even know what hit me there. This is a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. See, the fucked up part is some of this garbage, some of this path that is marked takes you to a wall even when you don't even have enough speed to get through that wall. <sighs> How uh, stressful.
sometimes it's funny to just look at this and be like, you know, this is actually happening, right? Sometimes it's funny. Problem is that if you get too distracted by that, that happens. Not like you can help it anyways. Not like I'm, you know, trying to get distracted. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I probably should farm more lives, but I don't even know which level to farm more lives on. All these levels are fucking brutal no matter what, you know? I think that at the, at the end of the day I'm gonna be wasting more time farming than actually trying. so fast that even shooting is almost useless for those pink walls, which are the ones that you can actually destroy. The blue ones are undestructible, well, unless you are going fast enough, but I mean, you can shoot them. But the pink ones are destructible. The problem is when you're going so fast, you cannot even turn your bullets enough, you know, to even shoot that. And this fucking stage seems to keep going on forever. Damn it, but I really don't know which one of these stages I could even retry. Because they are all the same, pretty much. They all have the same idea, which is going so fast that you completely destroy the obstacles. Like, they are exactly like this level right here. So, I don't think playing them will change anything. Because it, it basically is the same logic. If you can follow that same logic here, I don't think you will be able to follow it back there. I mean, at least the other levels are supposed to be easier, but... I don't really think that's saying much. But I'm gonna try regardless, um, from this one, for example. The problem with, well, that's the problem. This is the first one of this kind of levels. But the issue is that this level, you start upside down, so it's super hard to even know where the fuck your, your ship is. Because you're trying to look at the middle of the screen, not exactly where the ship is. Not to mention the ER rape that this level has, which makes things worse. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's the Fuck this piece of shit, it's the exact same logic, it's not gonna change anything if I retry that. 
God damn it. It's the exact same logic. You need to go in between those horns to go fast enough. It doesn't change. I mean, it might be smaller, but it's still a sun reactable. It's still a sun reactable because you're going so fucking fast and the path is so impossible to see that you can react to that. In fact, I'm convinced that sometimes the path straight up disappears. Like, I'm legitimately convinced sometimes the path is not there. I don't know. I don't have any evidence to back that up. It just feels like it completely disappears randomly. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but it's hard to tell because it's the same color as the ground. So even if it didn't disappear, it might as well disappear because it has the same effect. the end of the level. But I got them, dude. Well, at least as I say yesterday, what's important is trying. So at least these developers tried. But I got them, dude. We'll have tried a little bit harder to make a playable game. It's okay, don't worry about it. Let's just hope that it ends at level 20. If it ends at level 20, Wait, this is a flag stage again? Oh, okay, well, at least we know the gimmick now. Doesn't mean that it's gonna be any easier, but at least the gimmick is understandable. You just need to zigzag these flags. Which, I think there is a sport like this, right? Isn't it? Like a, a snow sport? Like, like you go downhill in a snowy mountain and you're supposed to to zigzag flags like this. I don't know exactly how the sport is called, but I'm pretty sure there is. had a, a more complex name rather than just a ski. I guess it is a ski. Oh, I... That's messed up. I need to dodge the cubes on top of that, dude. <sighs> please make it be over at 20, please.
that's way too far. That's messed up. That bait is so messed up. And it's impossible to know, dude. Because I know that the path is supposed to tell you where exactly they are, but dude, you can't see the path. I think that that's one of the worst parts, right? Like, the game is so centered around that path that it thinks that it's fair when the only way you can avoid something is by looking at the path. When in reality, you can barely even look at the path because of how much shit there, right, there is. Yeah, if I could clearly see the path, half of the times I'm dying, I wouldn't die, clearly. But the path might as well not even exist. I mean, I don't even know if you can see the path. Like, if you pay attention to the ground, there are those, those balls that are in couples. And they are technically always there. Problem is, they are so hard to see sometimes that they might as well not be there. But the game pretty much takes into account that you will always be able to see them. That's what's messed up. Like the game is designed in a way that you always see the path. And no, you clearly not always see the path. That's fine. That's okay. Now, the problem is, because I have a lot of stoner games, stoner indie games that I bought in one of the sales. I really hope the other ones are not like this one. But it's impossible to know, that's the thing. I have so many of them. That's why I say that these games damage indie games more than anything. What kind of games just completely ruin the image of indie games. Just like games... There are multiple games that ruin the image of the so-called AAA games, right? That same way. Just that... At least those games are guaranteed to have sales. These games, indie games, are not. So the fact that shits like this exist is messed up because of that. And no, you can't control the speed of the ship, if that's your question. Because, see, I will clearly go slower if I could uh, in a stage like this, obviously. Uh, but no, you, you can't. The only thing you can do is shoot, that's the only button. Other than that, you just move left and right. Well, or at least I hope that's the case, because if, I, if that's not the case and I've been playing this whole game with one less button just because the game doesn't tell me how the fuck to play it, that will be a problem. At least in this one, because there are cues to... You have to deal with cubes, but those cubes really don't seem like a problem considering that, that it's just by going fast you go through them. Right?
of that and it seems that you constantly get those sorts of shields. Apparently those shields don't help when you don't pass a flag. See, and there are things like that. Like, I'm convinced that going from that blue flag to that red flag is literally impossible at that speed. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. It just doesn't seem possible. This shit doesn't turn fast enough for that to be the case. You will barely even see the flags at that point. That's messed up. that the next level is the last but something tell me it won't something tells me it won't and that will be a major problem that will be a very big problem yeah this doesn't look like a last stage really I don't know what this is, but clearly not a last stage. I still hope it is, but I think that would be delusional thinking that. Oh, and of course, it's one of those stages that has these walls. The only good thing is at least here you can see the boosters, no matter what you do. Problem is reaching them. Wait, weren't these things destructible? I was literally in front of one of them and I couldn't do shit. What are all those numbers in the side? Okay, the, the fact that I say that you could that you could see all the boosters, I kind of regret saying that, because I didn't see the booster there. Wait, no, this is not the right stage. Uh, something tells me this is one. This is not gonna be the last stage, is it? Because considering that you can navigate in like each five levels, it makes me think that the last level is gonna be divisible by five, <laughs> obviously. I really hope that number is 20. I 
know if I can hold on much longer. My sanity. I wonder if they're even... Hello? I'm shooting them? Why the fuck did that hit me? Well, let's see, here's the thing. Uh, man. Really playing this game tomorrow sounds so bad. I ra like I literally rather play UFO for real. That's not gonna happen. Though. Don't get uh, don't get your hopes up. This piece is so shit so hard to dodge here. I don't get it. It weren't that hard to dodge the first time. So, how was I able to remain in the air in this section? Was it because I was going fast? Is that the problem? that I don't get it since my weapon seems to be completely worthless what other method am I supposed to 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 use there dodging doesn't work clearly the worst part is that I when I got past that part without getting hit I don't know how going to the side okay yeah going to the side just so I get fucked from the okay you are a piece of shit you pick one side and you can do the net sham because the booster is on the other side good shit okay I guess in that case I should pick the right side my bad my bad that I didn't pick the side that you wanted me to go through for no reason. You really need a lot of patience to play garbage like this. You really do. I think it's even a good idea to go to the side here. Probably not. At least you can get rid of this thing. Damn, and you still cannot make it. 
<laughs> you still cannot make it to the to the booster. The booster is in the it's on the right side, but more to the middle. And the worst part is that having four shields. I mean, yeah, sure, you could have more, but four shields is quite a big amount, you know. We're not talking about a small, a small amount of shields, it's quite big. Here I'm going so slow that I'm gonna make it to the bouncer. Only problem being that I probably won't be able to make the jump. Oh, I didn't even make it to the bouncer. No, never mind. Him. And the fact that if you miss that bouncer is a guaranteed death, no matter how many shields you have. Well, probably if you have nine, you can get through the whole thing losing all shields. Maybe. Somehow I didn't get hit there. Nice. Also, I just realized that I can post buffer. Huh. Well, that's an interesting tool that I didn't think of before. That is indeed quite interesting, if you ask me. Post buffering, huh? Yeah. I feel that that's gonna be a good idea. I mean... Well, the problem is that I'm not very used to post-buffering, so... Even if I try it, most likely won't make good use of it. I mean, after all, it's better to post-buffer when you have a turbo button that I don't have, so... Kind of makes it a little bit useless to try. Maybe that's the intended way of playing the game post buffering. Maybe that's the intended way, you never know. Wait, why, why is there another ship there? I think I'm supposed to follow that one. Yeah, post buffering. I mean, at this rate, I mean, clearly post buffering without a turbo. Well, then again, dude, that's the thing. In this game, it doesn't fucking matter. Because the mobility is so shit that even if you clearly understand where you're supposed to move amidst all of the horseshit there is, you might not make it there in time. So even if I had a perfect post buffering with a turbo button and everything, it most likely wouldn't work. Or rather, well, it wouldn't do the intended thing. I don't know. Where the fuck was the, the, the... Were the arrows there? Whatever. Huh? Are you making this noise? 
you just want to hear, right? You don't need to say it, I know, but like... That's the end of the level, right? Uh, well... Problem is that this is clearly not the end. This is clearly not the end. When the fuck is this garbage gonna end? That music sounds weird though, like... No, the music should change, it's not... Then again, the countdown at the bottom left. Do you know what that countdown is for? Uh, you probably can't see it because of my camera. But it's not the first time it appears. It appeared in one of the first levels and I have no idea why. Like, countdown to what? Now the countdown is over. I, I have absolutely no clue. How was this level 21? How did this level came after 20? This level was like the first levels, it was so easy. What? Did someone playtest this game? This level was pretty much the like the exact first level. Well, I mean, I'm glad that it's getting easier, but man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, and there is the countdown again. The problem is that the countdown, like, it says or at least what I can read, it says either CS or TS and a number in the hundreds that eventually reaches zero. Hey, that doesn't tell me shit. Oh, you can actually go all the way up the ceiling? Interesting. I don't think I need to though. It also seems like the fried eggs are back for some reason. I think there is something shooting at me, but I quite honestly don't know. Wow, this is so fucked up. For your side. What am I even looking at, dude? 
the end. I thought it was the end of the level, but it seems it wasn't. Then there is the countdown again. It distracted me. Well, what doesn't distract you here? Really? Is the real end of the level? Yeah, it is. Man, what? I don't even know what's hitting me, dude. <laughs> there are some things hitting me for free. Oh. I could definitely do that level better, but... Maybe... Another time. Become the bull? I don't wanna become the bull. Why don't you become the bull? Also, this is another level of fucked up. Making the horns move constantly. It's quite messed up. Damn, I actually turn into a bull. Will you make it any more cheaper looking? So I'm invincible or what's the gimmick of this? Because it's super hard to turn. Well, super hard is an exaggeration, but I kind of struggle turning here. And it doesn't seem like I'm getting hit, so... Is that the gimmick? Yeah, I still don't know how it works though. It's invincible, but it's... The turning is super weird. It's like it turns wherever it wants. Aside from where I tell him to. That's the end of the level. So this is a free level. Why are these levels all so easy? I don't get it. Well, at least that's almost full... Full shield count, but... What the fuck is even going on? Maybe 25. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Stoner game? You think so? Nah, that can't be the case, right? What's leading you to that conclusion? What makes you think that this is a stoner game? I'm sure that's just your imagination. Trust me? <laughs> Alright. I'll trust you. But only this time. I got hit? How? Well, more importantly, how did I get hit and I'm still going full speed? This guy trying... Wait, five shields? Wait, there's something hitting me. What the hell? The whole thing is crumbling, by the way. What the fuck am I looking at? Are you for real? I, wa I am supposed to see that. That's the end of the level, at least. What the? Dude, are you seeing this? Like, I feel that I'm stoned. Like, I feel that this is not real, and I'm just imagining this. Like... What the hell? True video. 
Man, you know, this is one of those times that I really hope I wasn't right. Because I say that this level is probably this level. This game is probably gonna have 30 levels. If that's the case, then I hate myself for being right. <laughs> I wish I was wrong. Maybe this is the last level, but it doesn't look like it. I honestly don't know. Your guess is as good as mine at this rate. I mean, nothing in this game makes sense. Which should have been apparent from the first level, really, but you know. Got hit by some. Pretty sure that something though is those lasers, but I don't even know. I think those lasers are triggered by the by the bots as I'm destroying, possibly. So otherwise what else would possibly trigger them? No, I'm pretty sure it's the bots. As when they fall to the ground as soon as they get destroyed, they fire that laser. I still don't understand why all of these levels are so absolutely free compared to every other level. Every other level was... Well, at least the levels that went from 10 to 20 were so hard compared to this and compared to what came before, so... I don't know what's the deal with this. It does seem like there will be 30 levels though. So unfortunately I might have been right. Wrong peel? Yeah, I took the wrong pill when I started playing this game, but that is indeed true. Or rather, when I bought this game. That's me taking the wrong pill, for sure. Oh wait, the pills are obstacles now? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Wait, but... I, don't... I mean, yeah, the pills seem to be obstacles, but there is something else that is hitting me. And I don't know what it is. Yeah, like, what hit me there, for example? Here come the fried eggs. Again. At least the fried eggs are on my side. That's something. But yeah, those pills are not on my side. Also, what fried eggs? I don't see any. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. so wrong when I say this game has 30 levels and it actually has more than that. Now that would be interesting. What would also be interesting is knowing what's hitting me, really. Because I can't figure it out. At least the level is over. But... Hopefully the, the, the the next levels are as easier as the previous ones because otherwise the lack of shields is gonna be a problem. Yeah, here I don't even know half of the shit that hit me. I'm kinda tempted to just look at the achievements, well, unless they are hidden. I just want to see how many levels there are, because depending on that, I either try to beat this shit now, or... I don't know.
because at some point there is so much shit that gives you shield that you can completely ignore the horns, you know? Well, except that one time, I guess. <laughs> At uh, one time the shields did not activate, but that's fine. Okay. How many levels have we played ever since that shit? I'm going the wrong way. This one, energy mesh. I don't know. What? Why? Dude, I'm randomly getting hit. Like, uh, literally, there is nothing going on and I'm getting hit. What the fuck? I don't get it. What? I mean, the last one made sense. I got hit by the horns, but the other three... I wasn't getting hit by anything. What the fuck? And I don't understand how the shield gets activated if it's gonna be useless. I had the shield and I still got hit. How was this so easy last time and now I'm getting fucked by everything? What was the trick? I think that it's all about momentum, huh? You know, I don't know, sometimes... Maybe they are those lasers that you can barely see. Otherwise, what will hit you? I mean the lasers that come to you, not these lasers that are just static obstacles. And for some reason going fast there didn't shield me from getting hit. Even though it did it in every other level, but okay. Guess it wasn't fast enough. Maybe. Are you seeing this? Like, there is nothing and I'm getting hit. Asking if you are seeing this when this probably looks like a pixelated mess on stream. Probably not the smartest idea. I think I'm just gonna stop playing this shit for today, but 
Man, I really don't want to play this tomorrow. No, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna check how many stages there are. That's what I'm gonna do. Real quick. Uh, hopefully the achievements say it. If it doesn't say it, then well... I don't know, but uh, hopefully it does. Um... Doesn't seem like it says... No. Yeah, I think there are 30 levels. There might be 30 levels. Okay, so all of the levels... Or, sorry. All of the achievements that mention... That mention a level uh, number. The last one is 30. The, the, the biggest number that you can see is 30. So, unfortunately, I was right, it seems. And there are 30 stations. Oh. Yeah, if that's the case, I think it's better if I try to do it today. But, man, really wanted to avoid it. Really wanted to avoid it. I mean, not like I wanted to avoid beating this today. No, no, rather... I wanted to avoid playing this garbage more, but you know. It's okay. It's fine. At least there are no hidden achievements so you can clearly see. Add insult to injury when you get hit now, you hear that annoying ass scream. <laughs> As if I needed more reasons to get angry when I get hit, you know. Oh, I think what's killing me are those triangles that are suddenly appearing. Dude, you can barely even see that. You can barely even see the outline of that triangle. Well, pyramid, technically, not a triangle. But... Uh, see, right there, I don't even know what killed me. Something killed me. I don't get what. I probably should retry the previous stage, this one. The wrong pill one. Because I got hit a lot here, and I'm probably gonna get hit again a lot, but I need more lives. I need more shields. See, like, the, I just don't get it, dude. What is hitting me? I don't know. I mean, okay, see right there, the peel hit me. So I, I, I understand. I got hit by the pill and in this stage most of the pills kill you. So that's fine. There are some times where I legitimately can't tell what is killing me. I, I know that it's a very common complaint to yell what killed me or what hit me when you play any game, right? It's a very common way to complain, even though you know that you got hit fair and square. But in this game, like, I'm not exaggerating or choking. I sometimes I just don't see what kills me. Which, again, makes sense. It's not something hard to think of. I mean, you can barely even tell what's going on in the whole game, you know? So it makes sense that you can't tell what's killing you, but goddamn. But you can go like this, I guess. Well, that wasn't particularly good, but at least it's more shields than last time. I don't know how many more. Come to spear and... No, I think that last time I had three for this level, right? 
so that means that well it, this is clearly better obviously I'm pretty sure that what's randomly killing me here are the red pyramids. The red pyramids that you cannot even see. That, like, how am I supposed to tell them apart? I, like, I don't even know if you can see them. Like, there are some red pyramids that are small, but there are some others that are big. But the only thing you can see about them is the outline. There, they have a red outline. You can only see that. You can see the inside of it, right? Which makes it almost impossible to, to see. I think that in this level you are more supposed to follow the... the, the path, probably. Which, yeah, good luck trying to do that, <laughs> you know. Okay, well, at least that's the end of the level. That's something, at least. What? Dude, the end? Are you shitting me? The end boost move? Okay, I'm not taking it away, I don't... Don't, don't play this one. That's that's the previous one. It's this one. Okay, I'm ignoring that then. I mean, after all, at the end you don't need to go fast. You only do that if you care about the points, which I clearly don't. And at this point, what do the score even mean? Right? <laughs> what does it even mean? Right there I didn't see any red pyramid and I still got hit. Not like it really matters because there's, you don't see the red pyramids anyway, so... Oh, well. That red pyramid you could clearly see it. But that's one of the small ones. Well, in fact, one of the small ones that spawns as a result of killing an enemy, I think. But no, the ones I mean are more like obstacles that are already there the whole time, I'm pretty sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but... But then again, I'm not a hundred percent sure about anything in this game, clearly. See, like, what killed me there? I don't know. Something killed me there. Well, kill me. Hit me. You get the point, though. Okay, right there it was the red pyramid. That might have been the laser, I think. Like the inst- yeah, that's probably the laser. Man, what a fucking disgrace of a game, dude. What an absolute disgrace. I can't believe this garbage has so many positive reviews. Like, I, I just don't believe it. Like, are they really all your family and friends, the ones that review this shit? Because it doesn't make sense. 
Or are there people that play for the first hour and they were like, yeah, this game is cool, and then they never touch it again? That's pro that's most m more likely, yeah. That's most likely what happened. Because when I, I look at the achievements, and one of the achievements that was like beating stage 15 or some shit like that, I don't even remember, had a 3% completion rate. So you can tell that the very few that play this game only play the beginning and didn't even bother with the rest. Which honestly, I am jealous of them, because I should have done the same. But yeah. You only play the first hour of this game, it's like, yeah, it's a cool game, it's whatever. Very stone, but, you know, it's alright. Little did you know. It's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, see, that's the kind of red pyramid I was talking about. You can barely see them. That one you could clearly see it, but... There are some that are there and you won't notice. I don't know what killed me there. Can I get to the fucking exit, please? Okay, thank you. I'm gonna ignore the boosters because they move like... You are out of your fucking mind. You are really out of your fucking mind. Okay, level 28. That means three more, counting 28, clearly. Man. If they are hard as the ones between 10 and 20, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Really hope they are as easy as the ones from 20 to 25. Raise your shield, what? I don't know what you say, but okay. Apparently you're gonna get hit by a lot of garbage here. And you need to have your shield almost always active. Is that what, what you try to say? Enemies can shoot you personally. Right, see, I don't understand why those are news. As if they couldn't before. Like, what you mean? <laughs> you know, shit, they can attack me personally. What they've been doing the whole time. Oh, there are walls. Look at this. There are walls that are so dark that you can't see. That's why it said that you should always have your shield active. Basically, the problem here are not the enemies, but the walls. Honestly, the walls, they only appear once so far, and hopefully they only appear that one time. I'm not seeing any other one, for now. Well, okay, there they are, never mind. <laughs> Also, it's pretty funny to me that this level is presented as it's an endurance test. Have your shield up as much as you can. That's literally been the case for almost every level. Like, what are you talking about? Like, thanks for telling me now, I guess. Better late than ever. Probably. The stage is the biggest 
the biggest example. In that stage, you were supposed to have your shield up at all times. At least here, you have a lot of fried eggs. Fried eggs give you shield, as far as I know. So when you say that this is an endurance stage, I didn't know you meant that it was gonna be long. Oh, it wasn't that long. Okay, it's a good situation though. Six shields is a good amount. So we are fine. But yeah. So if the achievements are right, this is gonna be the second to last level. So not only we have flags, we have flags that move. Because having static flags wasn't cool enough, I guess. Though this really concerns me, like I know that the achievement clearly say level 30. But like, I don't know dude. This is making me a little bit nervous because this doesn't look like a second to last level. I mean, it's not like I'm expecting this game to follow a traditional scenery, right? Like, because this looks exactly the same as everything looked up until this point. So, I really, really hope that's the case. Well, if that's not the case, I guess I'm gonna end the stream, because I can't stream forever, you know? But I have the hope that the that the next uh, level is gonna be the last one. We gotta hold on to that hope. I mean, we gotta hold on to something, right? We can't be completely hopeless after all. Well done. Well done for what? <laughs> well, that's also something very interesting. There are some words that apparently... Well, some of them are just normal phrases. But then you have some words that appear periodically. And if you read them together, they form a sentence. But the sentence doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, there is a sentence that says something like... Don't eat cheese again, or something like that. Like, what the fuck, dude? Are you stone or what? And this go too fast all of a sudden. Is this the end? Yeah, this is the end. Okay. Sit shields again, so that's great. So, apparently, and I really hope so, this is the last level. Apparently, I really hope the achievements didn't lie me, didn't lie to me, or that I miss one of the achievements, because that would truly suck. And but this really doesn't look like. See, this doesn't look like it, it's gonna be a last level. That's the problem. As much as I would like to, it just looks like a regular ass level. It even has the tilted camera. Like, I will expect the last level to have a normal perspective or something completely different. I don't know. This is clearly not the case. What I do hope is that if this is the last level... Well, regardless of if this is the last level or not, I hope it's not gonna be hard as shit. Because something tells me it will. I mean, after all, if it's the last level, I guess it makes sense. Wait, you can also go down here. Problem is that going down here... ...doesn't seem to be the smartest idea. Because you don't have too much room to, to run. I'm already getting this fuck. Okay. Now, will I turn into a bull again? Because that would be great. 
I could turn into a bull again, that would be amazing. In all honesty. Not because I care about being a bull, but because of that sweet invincibility. Oh, these diamonds again. Didn't want to see these assholes again. I really didn't. Wait, is this the end? Yeah, the, the end of me, <laughs> that is. <laughs> That's fucked up. Alright. That was the end of the level, though. Uh, but man, this doesn't look like the last level. This really doesn't look like the last level. So I'm a little bit scared. Um, is especially because it didn't have anything out of the ordinary. Like, is this game even trying to tell a story though? That's my question, because it doesn't look like it. Like at first, because you know, there are some games like this that are like super psychedelic and you think that they are made by a stoner and they most likely are made by a stoner, right? But the thing is, a lot of them usually very in a very subtle way they try to tell a story I don't see what this game is trying to tell me I mean yeah I know you are trying to be that cancel urban legend from the 80s okay but is that it well even if that was the case I will also expect us some resemblance of I don't know I mean I don't care about story but this just seems like nonsense for the sake of nonsense right game over by what okay sure I guess The good thing is that even if I could get more shields, I think that for the most part, situation couldn't be much better. Six shields is still very good. So, it could technically be better, but not really by much. Okay, so I'm gonna chill here. Only for some time. Yeah, I think during this. Well, I don't know if during this I should really move. Because doing this while I'm diagonal seems like an even worse idea. I can't see shit. Oh, and this is where I got killed, right? I think it was, probably. Ah, damn it. I knew that eventually those shits would, <laughs> would hit me. That's the end of the level right there. But it's so hard to avoid getting hit many times before that. You end up being completely empty at that point. Really? Is 
that section where you have the walls, there is barely anything you can really do. Because you go so fast that unless you constantly get shields, you won't get... Yeah, this, this exact section. I guess the point is to get shields. That everything is so hard to see, dude. It's no show. Everything is just hard to see. I'm just gonna chill here. Problem is for the very, for the very last section that has those uh, diamonds that fall from the sky. Also, I'm going super slow. I prefer it this way. Around here is where the diamonds start falling and when it starts uh, becoming a problem. I can get hit two more times, but I don't think that says much really. Yeah. Wait, shield's gone? What are you talking about? I think that should be... Wait, is that gonna kill me? No. Are we please done with this fucking game? Please. Please. It's a shield increase. I don't think. I don't think so. But dude, I... I saw that there was something about level 30. Did I get lied? The real fight starts now? I mean the real fight starts now. I don't even know what it said. Something about watch out for something. Anything that you can get hit by, don't get fucking hit by the horns. Yeah, something tells me this shit is not gonna be over. I don't know what to do. It's not finishing. Like, did I misread? Why is this garbage not ending? There is... Dude, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna stop playing. I mean, this shit just refuses to end. This garbage just refuses to end. Dude, fuck this. See, the problem is that I don't want to play this garbage tomorrow if it's only gonna be for 10 minutes. Because I don't know how long this game is. It just keeps fucking going, dude. It doesn't end. It refuses to end. You consider not playing the game? Yeah, but it's a little bit too late for that, you know. All right, let me. 
than me. Let's go uh, to the shit. Um, how many levels does Polybius has? Have? Out, I guess. 50 levels? That can't be right. 50 levels? Are you for real? Wait. How many levels? Well, 50, yeah. Alright. That's gonna be it for me for the day then. Damn, I really thought this was gonna be 30 and it was gonna be over, but it clearly isn't. Well, unfortunately, I will have to play this garbage again tomorrow. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Just so we can forget that this piece of garbage exists. Because uh, otherwise I won't forget if it exists if I don't beat it, so... Whatever. Uh, thanks everyone a lot for watching. And I unfortunately will be seeing you with this game tomorrow. So have a good one and take care.